Digico's multi-application consoles provide users with a range of tools designed for specific environments and markets. And in this video, we're going to take a look at one of the enhancements provided by the Theater extension. At the heart of the T software is Digico's unique auto-update system. And while you can find an auto-update function in the snapshot system on our live console software, the implementation of this in our theater software is quite different. In its simplest form, auto-update ensures that changes you make to channel settings, EQs, AUX sends, etc. are automatically updated to the other queues in the session. Theater shows regularly run into hundreds of queues, so traditional queue-by-queue -queue updates do not offer the speed of operation or the necessary workflow to handle these changes on the fly. An essential part of configuring auto-update are the scopes, the selection of what is saved and recalled. By design, we recommend that almost everything is left enabled in scopes. The exception to this is usually the control group faders and mutes, which are the primary focus of the operator when following the script and mixing the show. So with auto-update enabled, changes you make to the settings are, as the name suggests, automatically updated to the other cues in the show. In some respects, you can think of this as an enhanced analog style console. You make a change to an EQ in Q1, and when you fire Q2, the change has been saved and the EQ is already updated. So for example, if you've made an adjustment to compensate for poor mic position, in the following cues when the performer is still on stage, the same adjustment is carried over. There are a few exceptions to this rule. It would make no sense to have the channel fades and mutes auto-update across all the cues. So rather than have these excluded from the update all the cues rule, we can invert the rule so that these faders and mutes only auto-update to individual cues. This is set up in the Theatre Options tab. You can enable this single cue auto-update for other channel elements. But in practice, it's generally just the faders and mutes set like this. There may also be times when, for artistic reasons, you want individual changes made to settings in just one queue. Rather than making complicated scope changes, we can use the optional button to tell the software to write the change for just the queue we're in. So switch on optional, you'll see a warning on the screen that it's on, make the change, and then switch optional off. The change you make is only written to the queue you're in, a simple and fast workflow enhancement that puts you in control. Look out for the next in-depth videos where we'll cover more of the theatre-specific features and discover why Digico's T-Software has become the standard tool for all sound designers all over the world.